So, last time we saw how we can pass the starting equipment, right now we're going to see how we can not only pass the weapons and the starting equipment, but what it happens when you actually change right in there in the game. To do this, let's go first in the script and let's put an end to the cliffhanger. For the bug we had last time, we basically just need to pass through over here and it will fix uh, the creation of the left hand, uh, you know, of the of the weapon for the left hand. Without the true, it was just giving it, uh, you know, it was creating it under the right hand. So that's why we didn't saw this. Okay, so there's that. Now, since we are already here in the inventor manager, let's collapse everything and let's go down here I think it should be fine and let's create a new class and let's call this armor snapshot we're going to make a string let's call this chest ID legs ID Man. and then as you might guess head id and hands id now save everything and let's go over here and say public uh, armor snapshot i'm just going to say get snapshot since we are in the armor manager New armor snapshot M chest ID will be M. Mm. Oh, we are in the inventor manager, yeah. So that's wrong. So cut this and let's drop. Oops. Well, we don't need the action manager. Here's the armor manager. Let's go in here minimize everything the class even if it's uh, on the inventor manager it doesn't really matter get snapshot a dot m test id m test id a m hands id m hands id head id m head id and a legs id m legs id and then of course return a Okay, let's do the same and yeah, we don't actually need to do the same for the inventor manager because we only have to pass uh, the M right hand weapon and M left hand weapon. But on the equip weapon, if when we are equipping an actual weapon, we're going to be saying M left hand weapon, left hand weapon, instance, item ID. And similarly, um, right hand weapon, right hand weapon, instance, item ID. And we do this so we know when somebody changes uh, a weapon, okay, when he equips, it's also going to update the multiplayer, uh, the multiplayer string, so we can know how to sync that. Also, on Season Manager, let's collapse everything and uh, not Season Manager, State Manager. We don't really need Season Manager that much anymore. Let's add them in here. And let's make a public bool. Send equipment. Send weapons. So on Photon Serial as you, we have the animation if send equipment, send equipment will be false and then stream dot send actually armor snapshot inventory manager armor manager get 
snapshot snap just uh, no stream send next snap um, chest ID okay and then we can have hands ID head ID and legs ID okay if we want to send the weapons when we want to send the weapons we can say send weapons send weapons false and because it's just simply it's only two strings send next inventor manager m left hand weapon stream send next inventory manager m right hand weapon okay so let's get the headers and say equipment bull stream receive next okay and if we have if this header returns true that means the next part of the code will have uh, information for our armor and stuff like that otherwise bull stream receive next okay if weapons and do it like this okay so let's get uh, let's go into our armor manager and say public void load snapshot and basically we want the opposite of the above so um, chest ID will be snap chest ID okay and this is going to be hands ID legs ID and head ID okay so on to the set manager back again armor ma armor snapshot new arm dot head ID we need to have we need to pass the same order so the chest ID should be first okay and we have string stream receive next and then arm hands ID string receive next hands id head id and legs id and since we have this we can just say inventory manager armor manager load snapshot the snapshot is the armor and we can also say inventor manager armor manager load uh, let's go on to over here and we basically need this call so make the making this public and saying load equip all a uh, multiplayer and it will do this for the weapons now we can say inventory manager m left hand weapon string stream receive next and over here inventory manager m right hand weapon string stream receive next 
Okay, and I think if we call inventor manager dot load inventory, it will work. But there is one thing we need to also do over here is because this ignores loading and uh, unloading the previous weapons. Okay, so if is local. Uh, if it's not local then clear references first save that we also have one more thing that was left with few of our bugs and I think it was on a need for some reason the let's see let's see what we do yeah this clear icons for some reason was giving us problems so let's comment this out save and I think we are almost done with this save let's see if it works of course locally unless we forget to have something and then we'll do a build Okay, no issues here. We still have back our inventory. We can change weapons. Okay. Let's do a build. And uh, actually, before we do a build, let's add swords. Let's add a few more stuff. Let's add two swords. Great sword. And we forgot to do something. Let's uh, add a repair here and what we forgot to do is when we are changing uh, weapons we should also say and pass over the network that you know change your weapons okay and when we actually want to also change the our uh, armor and stuff like that our inventory you know okay so for example let's say change to next weapon is to handed handle to handed and say states sent weapons this is uh, one way to call this and we need the same way when we are changing when we change the items from the inventory If we open this now, we can go, uh, let's see, load current items and this comes over here, load equipment, you get the inventory manager, you get all of this and when you're going to load it on the character, so load inventory, you can say over here, as you can see, you can say and if it's local on the else of this states sent equipment true and you can also send the weapons as well since you can't change the weapons save that as well okay close that and let's go to our game manager and let's add some armor items so we can we have we can switch stuff so let's say samurai chest viking chest thing the other one is viking helmet uh, let's keep it at three then okay save let's do a play just so that we know that the ids are correct at least Okay, we have our weapons, we have our items, we 
we don't have anything here. Okay. And we can attack. So let's do the build. I'm going to pause. And we're back. Okay, let's uh, enter this. Let's create a server here. Create room. Start game. We are in. Put this guy on the side. I think we might have a bug uh, with our UI. Or I guess we have a lot more. Uh, bugs. Let's see what we did over here. Oh, yeah. We forgot to send our equip our booleans. So, stream, send next, send equipment, stream, send next, send weapons. Okay, let's do another build then. Come on. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to see this. Or actually, yeah, I think it's better. So you know where I am. Create room. For some reason, my PC is lagging today. Okay, play. And we're in. I'm going to select the other way. And yeah, the bug I talk about is when I'm switching from the right character, we also switch from the left. So we'll fix that in a bit. But as you can see, we have a few lungs. When I switch weapons, they both switch. Let's switch uh, an item. Mm, that didn't work. The item didn't work. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't work. The weapons work, but we have the the armor that doesn't work. Okay then, close that, close that, and let's go and investigate. Let's open this up, open this as well, and let's see. We sending the equipment. We're loading the snapshot and we are over here. So first we need to actually see if we are sending the items. No need to do a build. I'm just going to open up again the build and leave it on the side. Let's wait till I connect. Okay, and I'm connected and I'm going to play from here.
Okay, so uh, let's go and change an item. We are sending the items, as you can see. And yeah, as you can see, we also have a few more issues. So let's go find them. I believe it could be on to no on the state manager when we are loading the inventory. Over here. Let's go back, down, down, down. Let's see what happens in here. Equip inventory. Equip weapon. And down here, here's the one of the issues we have. And so this should be if states dot is local. Okay, so that solves one of the issues we have. Uh, with uh, the inventory. Let's uh, try to see it now. And this actually is a bad. Let's open it up again. It's a little boring when you have to do all the builds and stuff like that, but you know, it comes with the territory. Okay, we're in. Let's hit play. So I'm going to open the inventory on the right side and I'm going to come in here and we still have the same issue for some reason. Uh, let's see what happens with the items though. nothing okay close all of this and let's open up our scripts again I'm going to go and check my my notes so let's see what else we have and I think let's see what is happening in here. Uh, no, this will be correct. Game UI. Okay. Let's see. All you need. So one thing we mistakenly did uh, was that we are just taking everything we have on the chest ID so that's not what we want because uh, this is just a string and it never updates okay so that means no matter how much we try to get uh, the ID we are always going to be getting the same one because for this to update we actually need to take this turn them into back into their items and from the items find the correct id okay let's do that let's create a function and say if id minus one return empty so it's just the empty Otherwise, item inventory instance item. Let's go to the season manager, get armor item from your ID. And what we want to return is item dot item ID. 
Okay, so instead of doing this, we're going to be doing. Oops. Test ID. Let's copy all this. Hands ID. Head ID. Oops, not leg piece. Legs ID. Okay, save. And I'm pretty sure this is going to work. So I want to investigate why my UI opens. Okay. To open our UI, if we go into our inventory UI, let's pin him again. We need to be using open UI, which is somewhere in here. It should be. Yeah. Let's do the final references. Let's see where we're doing that. Okay. Maybe it's not this. Hmm. Venture AI is my is my get button up. Yeah, like this is kind of uh, annoying. Since that's the only place where we load where we open the inventory. Unless we forgot something. Okay, let's try and change on the input handler. Uh, let's do instead of get button up, let's do get key up and let's try something else. Key code or let's just do N. Just in case. There is a bug with the controller or something. Okay, let's do a build and let's come back to it later. Okay. Connect into server, create room, start game. Put him on the side. Hit play. Join. Start game. Okay, and we're in. Let's do. Let's change armor, and you can see he wear a new armor. And apparently, the it's a problem with the controller because with the N, it's actually working as it should. It doesn't close though. Oh, it closed. Okay, so here you are. Uh, let's go up. You will see that this level is way too much complicated geometry for the controller we have. Okay, and let's so we're up. Uh, let's select back and yeah it was an issue with the controller probably because the start doesn't work over here as you can see the, the problem doesn't exist with this so let's put that on the side and let's just change clothes change the clothes we can be 
naked if we want let's keep it pg okay so we're wearing items and same goes with the the swords we can get rid of all of them we still haven't seen them entirely although I think we might actually have but I believe there is a few more things we need to sync okay so here's my inventory from the left side and here's how it looks on this side awesome now I'm going to sync one more thing and I'm going to go from this side I'm going to close that okay and now I'm attacking from the right side with the great sword but you will see that he attacks with the rapier okay if you can okay I you can probably see this I imagine okay so I'm attacking with the right side and above he attacks with the left side okay you probably can find out why that happens and that is because we haven't synced the mirrored so to do that let's go into our scripts again let's go into our season uh, state manager let's see do we have is mirror somewhere we don't okay no big deal we can just go down here on the animator before we see we send the the target the target animation we can just say bull is mirror anim get bull I'm going to use my static strings because I don't remember the name just mirror and then oh this is the receive we want the send stream send next is mirror okay and on the receiving end we can say bool mirror string not stream string stream receive next and then say anim set bool mirror uh, no mirror static strings mirror to mirror and this will be a bool okay simple let's build this one last time for now we still need to do a proper lerp into the animations where we're moving around stuff like that so it looks better than that okay because right now it lags a lot we still need to do that so for the headers uh, what we're doing over here you might think that yeah you are setting this on every frame or on every tick but that's why we sent first a boolean because the bullet is just one bit okay that's really nothing compared to what we have in mind so when we want to send a lot more data like this okay we first send uh, a header which is this one uh, which is one bit also so we know that the following code is going to be used for something else if everything is false then you're just sending uh, two three 
and however this is so you're setting three bits for your, your headers and how much a float is I think it's maybe it's 32 probably anyway okay play I'm going to put this guy on the side and let's I'm going to create the room start game and we're in and we basically just want to see that we sync uh, left and right animations so um, if I'm attacking from the right hand I'm going to be playing the right hand animation okay right hand let's turn around left hand left hand right hand left hand right hand Awesome. which is also pretty cool okay so I think it should be safe to end the video here I actually you know what yeah okay let's end it here no need to complicate this more we still have the two handed so anyway on the next one on the next one we're going to fix the animations we're going to I mean the lerping we do over here so that he doesn't look like he's stuck like that okay that happens because we send every five seconds every 10 seconds which is our send rate we send also the animation values so it doesn't have time and it just does this clamping you see over here so we're going to fix that and we're also going to fix the 200 and stuff like that so in order to see that you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see how you can change clothes over the network how you can attack how you can do damage and all this nice stuff we be doing for the last couple of I think it goes months right now it's really been long okay then subscribe and of course like and if you want to support me so I can keep making all this nice stuff and making them bigger larger and making other projects as well because all these are nice and fun but there is also other uh, nicer well not nicer but you know everything we do is fun and nice so in order to keep making that then consider supporting me either via patreon where you also have now access into you have full access into my site where you can find all the content in one place and your rewards and everything else okay it's wired up into patreon so no need you can only you only have to log in in patreon to see it to see the lessons and, to, and nothing else i mean you don't need to do anything else not nothing else there is a lot of stuff you can see okay anyway so one way to support me is patreon the other way of course is gumroad i'll see you next time let's do a final praise right there into our face so i'll see you next time